These old spark plugs are Champion J12YC. And I'm going to replace them with Autolite number 85. But first I'm gonna do a compression test on all four cylinders. All right, let's give it a try. And there's a high possibility that the compression might increase in that number two cylinder after I get the tractor started. I'll do another check uh, at that point, but for now we're gonna move forward. Yeah, good morning, everybody. Beautiful day here today. It's about 45 degrees. It's gonna warm up to about 65 by mid afternoon. No wind, perfect day to work on a tractor. Today's the day, all systems are checked and I have a go for first startup attempt. Since the last video, I went through and did all the wiring. Key switch, uh, light switch, and voltmeter. So after I get the tractor running, fingers crossed, I'm going to go back and post a dedicated video just for the wiring. But for now, let's uh, jump right in and see if this thing will fire up for the first time in uh, at least seven or eight years. So the fuel is on, uh, the tractor is in neutral, got one of the tires blocked. I'll give it just a little bit of throttle. I'm going full choke to start with. Fire extinguisher nearby, just in case. So I'm gonna crank it over a few times with the ignition switch off and the choke on full, just to get some uh, gas up into the cylinders. And then I will come back and turn the key switch on and crank it over and see if she fires up. Not bad for the first time. Let's give it some more choke. Something's making a god awful racket up here. Okay. I can put the defibrillator away. I think this is the problem right here. I think one or two blades that are actually hitting the inside of the uh, radiator. That uh, flange right there. And this should also be mitigated when I cinch the whole front uh, radiator assembly a little bit tighter to the frame rails and won't have any, you know, give to it. It's also, can you see that right down there? It's also hitting on that hose clamp. Okay, I think I've got them all clear. Okay, let's go for uh, take number two.
I had forgotten that I put tape over the intake to keep the insects and things out. So that's certainly not helping anything. Good Lord. Okay, take number three. All right, I put some more hydraulic fluid in the system. Let me try this again. All right, so far so good. Got no fuel leaks or coolant leaks that I'm aware of. I don't see anything dripping on the ground or anything like that, no oil leaks. I mean, I spilled some hydraulic fluid and spilled some oil over here and everything, but I don't think there's anything coming from the tractor of any significance. So now that I've got the tractor warmed up, I'm going to change the oil. If you remember from the last video, it was a little bit low anyway. Um, the oil is unknown. I definitely want to change the crankcase oil and I have to change the filter anyway because it's got that pinhole leak in it. So let me do that right now and we'll get it started back up. Yeah, she's a little dark. A little bit of sludge on the plug, but it's not terrible. Got a new plug and copper washer.
the other plug is uh, getting pretty rounded off. This one's an old Napa Gold filter, 7011. And I want to get the old seal off of there also because I have a new seal. I got the uh, oil filter and plug and copper washer from Rachel Gingel, I believe is her last name. FarmTractorRepair.com. I appreciate the videos that her and her father produces for everybody and uh, I'd like to support them when I can. So thanks, Rachel. And this one's a Fleet Guard LF571. Okay, well, it's right at the full mark. Um, I'm gonna start it up and run it for a couple minutes and we'll check it again. I've got some uh, oil leaking out from around the valve cover gasket up front here by number one. So I cinched this front bolt down just a little bit more. Maybe I'll get lucky and that'll seal it up, but uh, I kind of doubt it. I'll probably have to order another valve cover gasket and reseal it. The last thing I want to do for this video is check the compression in number two and see if that has changed. So that makes me feel better. Uh, number two did come up. If you're still watching this video, thank you very much for hanging in there with me. Uh, I'm going to start it up one more time and then sign off. And let me see if I need to top off the coolant. No, she's still full.